Okay, so I got an email from somebody today who said basically they had a hard time um, texturing another side of an object. They could get the object to be one texture but not multiple textures. So I thought I'd really cover, quickly cover this in a video. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to make just another box just over to the side of the first one. And I already got my texture applied to this first box. Uh, and this box is just going to be a junk box. I'm not going to keep this. It's not really part of my model. I right click on the junk box and I convert it to an editable mesh uh, and I go up and set a UVW map the same as uh, as usual uh, maybe I make it a box and then basically from my texture window I'll go ahead and drag a second texture down which will look different in this case I'm just going to use this horrible um, green texture these are from some of their textures and uh, basically I've dragged that onto the box and now I have uh, a box which is sort of green. Uh, here's what I do next. I go up to the little uh, material navigator and I open up this particular material and here it is. So we have two materials uh, and basically I go over, get my selection tool, my move and select tool, uh, and the first box it, it still has the mapping on it from the la when I made it. it. It basically has a box map. So I right click and I convert to editable mesh and then I can select one of the tools like uh, the polygon tool or the element tool or the face tool if I just want to do one triangle in a different color. That might be kind of fun. So let me go ahead and click one triangle and you'll see it in the other windows that it's it's basically making this one triangle. And then I can go over here and I can click apply and then that one triangle uh, will have that particular um, texture on it. Uh, and, and you can do the same thing with any other face. You can select multiple uh, faces at once. So I could uh, convert to edible mesh and I could grab, say, this face that I could apply and, and, and hold my shift key down and grab this one. Now I've got the two of them. Now if I apply it, now my cube has uh, two and a half sides having this green texture. Uh, and you can um, basically select a whole bunch of polygons. If you have a collect a, a, a confusing object you can do a variety of things with that uh, just to undo your uh, I don't think I can undo that yes I can okay so let me convert to edible mesh again let me go ahead and grab a couple of these faces here I'll grab this one and this one we'll apply those and so now I've got uh, basically that's how you can texture um, uh, different bits of your model. You don't want to keep dragging and dropping if for some reason I gave you that impression in some of the other videos. No, each time you drag and drop it is technically a new texture whether it's the same picture or not. Oh yeah, and then you would just delete. Um, once you've got the texture applied somewhere else, let's convert that back to animal mesh because not let me select the other one. I'll just grab the other cube, the junk cube, and delete it. So there's there's my model and maybe that's the way I wanted it to look. I don't know. Anyway, I hope that helps.